Welcome to this tutorial. In this video, I will show you two easy methods to calculate someone's age or the difference between two dates. Let's begin. I will calculate someone's age based on today's date. I will enter the today function in the cell. No arguments are necessary between parentheses. This function is dynamic, which means it will always return the actual date of the day you are in. If you wish to calculate from another specific date, simply type in your date in the cell. To calculate the difference between both dates, an easy method is to use the dateIf function. For some reason, Excel will not show it in the function recommendations you normally get when you type in a function. The first argument is the start date. The second is the end date. The last argument decides which values the function return. If I enter Y in quotation marks, the function returns the number of years. To return the number of months or days, replace the Y by M for months or D for days. The results of the function are usually rounded down. Another method is to subtract the start date from the end date. Excel understands dates as numbers starting from the 1st of January 1900. This date is number 1. The 2nd of January 1900 is number 2. So by subtracting, Excel will return the number of days between both dates. For the correct display of the numbers, make sure the cells have the number format. To calculate the years, divide the number of days by 365 days. To get the number of months, divide the number by 30.4. 30.4 is the result you get when you divide 365 days by 12 months. If you wish to round up the number, you can use the round up function. Enter the number to be rounded as the first argument and 0 for the second. This will round up the decimals. I hope you found what you were looking for in this tutorial. If yes, please give us a thumbs up and consider subscribing to this channel for more videos. Check out other Excel video tutorials by Swag Academy in this playlist. Thanks for watching.